Hello everyone, Fantastic here, and welcome back to Dead by Daylight, also known as a DBD. In this video, we are playing the brand new game mode that just got introduced to DBD, known as 2v8. As far as everybody knows, this 2v8 game mode is only going to be in DBD for the next 13 days. If you do not know what 2v8 is, it's pretty simple. It's two killers versus eight survivors, which is pretty much double the amount compared to the normal game mode in DVD, where it's one killer versus four survivors. This also means that survivors have eight generators that need to be completed, and that each map that is available is much larger than any map in the game yet. As of right now, the only available killers that you can play as is the original five, which is Trapper, Wraith, Billy, Nurse, and Huntress. Now when you play as a killer, you are not able to choose what perks you want to bring since you are teamed up with another killer. So each killer has a set of personal skills, team skills, and just the killer side of skills. So for example, the Huntress's team skill will reveal a survivor to both the Huntress and the partner killer once a hatchet hits the survivor for 5 seconds. The Huntress's personal skill is pretty much five different add-ons put into one perk. And then each killer has the same two killer perks. One of them is once you get into a chase with a survivor, you can see their aura for five seconds. And the other one is basically nowhere to hide, where when you kick a generator, you can see all survivors within a 20 meter radius for five seconds. And also, the generator starts regressing at 200%. Now as the survivor side of things, you can still play as any survivor character you want, but you cannot take any perk you want. Very similar to the killer side, you have different classes. One of the class is Escapist, which is basically a looping class. The next one is Guide, which is basically a gen class. The next one is Medic, which is the healing class. And then my personal favorite is Scout, which is in a way a aura reading class. And then all classes fourth perk has a unlockable skill that you only unlock once you are on death hook and it's basically self care mixed a little bit with dead hard in a way kind of now that is all the information i'm currently going to share about this new 2v8 game mode in dbd if you would like to learn more then you could probably easily google it i'm sure other people are making better more in-depth videos than i am i just wanted to briefly go over it so my next coming up videos of me playing 2v8 you kind of have a decent idea of what's happening the matches in this video consist of my first few matches being brand new to the game mode and not fully understanding what's going on, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and you'll see me in the next one. I personally would rather throw money at this game and then regret it than put money into like any other game. Bro, there's gins everywhere. Holy. All right, look, I'm just going to be I'm just going to be a gen bitch this game. Except for this moment right here. So I think it's Hunters and Trapper. I have not had a game without Hunters uh without Trapper yet. Every game's had a has had a Trapper. I'm going for gents. Because if you pay attention to the HUD, no one's doing gents. Maybe, maybe that's my, maybe that's my role in life. Gen bitch. Like there's seven other people. Someone can go for that. Not me. I feel like the medics, if, like if you play the medic role, I feel like you should go for the unhooks. Because you can heal faster than anybody else. So you can go for the unhook and heal. I do wish the, the gen perk or the gen class had like some kind of increased speed on repairing though. Damn, we still got five gens? Mine, 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 mine. I want the blood points. Fuck you. Yeah, so it, it does like teleport the uh, teammates in this cage thing away from the killers. What?
Did a little wave for no reason other than to wave. Dude, that was invisible, no? I feel like that was invisible. I'm going to be honest with you. Why am I slow? I feel slow. I ran into that. I do feel like they made it too easy for killers by just doing this though. Like I do feel like if you had to actually put them on a hook, that would be different. Or at least pick them up. Kind of like the most recent event where they picked them up and then they just teleport to a hook. I feel like that would have been better. Cause I feel like just stomping them on the ground for like a second and then they going into the cage is a little too fast for the killer side. I don't know. I'm just giving like feedback right now for my split second of, you know, my few games of playing. This is what my third game. Fuck yo trap, bro. And your mother. <clears throat> Nice. Bro, you can't get juiced by a Leon like that. Come on. Oh shit, they're both here. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He knows where I am. Because of the ore revealing thingy. I'm just gonna open this. You'd prefer to be put on the hook. Yeah. I mean, I, I do too, but I mean you do gotta think like this is still even though the game mode is technically like in the game it's still like they've even said that this is a trial and error um to see like how it performs and uh, the from my from the things that i've read that the devs have posted like they they would like to have this like out of all the game modes they would like for this to be a permanent so they're basing how everyone's feedback on it from this to adding it more permanent with like adding more killers and different classes for survivors etc etc if i can get this gen done that would be excellent toolbox that i found was pretty w of me Someone get that door. Get that door. You're right there on the door. Get the door. Fuck the hill. Get the door. Damn it. Yeah, get the door. Get the door. Get that naughty door. Come on. There's so many of us. Am I the only one going? Come on, baby. I got you. Don't you don't you even worry about it. I'll be your hero. I got you, buddy. Shit, they're over there. Actually, she might be able to heal herself, maybe? Shit, if they're both here. Yeah, if they're both at that gate, then I don't know. Nah, he's right there. I'm not gonna be able to heal you fast enough. No, never mind. Watch out for traps. Could be anywhere. Yes, that's very nice. Yes! W Leon! W me! Specifically. 
Unfortunately for the bill, but he did kind of just run there solo dello. I mean, like, I don't mind Trapper, but every... I've done, what, three games now? Three or four, and each one's always had a Trapper. Okay, this one has a Billy. And I think a Trapper. I think a Trapper. Okay, so this guy right here is, um... Oh, never mind. Everybody's here. Everyone's over here touching my generator. Billy... And that's all I know. I'm assuming the other one is Trapper. Yeah. You know, I was saying Hunters was probably the most popular killer right now, but it's actually Trapper. Bro. The thing about Trapper is like, it's every single map that is in this game mode has this tall fucking grass. That makes it really easy to like hide the, um, hide the traps. I'm gonna go back to that gen, by the way. Trying to finish it. Someone even over here on it? No. It's all right, guys, I got it. I do think, especially solo queue and people who are new to the game mode, which is probably everybody right now, like their their thing is as soon as someone gets hooked it's like everybody wants to run to it to unhook it when i don't think everybody should which i also just forgot that i am playing med medic so i should actually be doing that but i'm not because i'm selfish yeah everybody's getting put over here because both killers are over there in reality all you really have to do is just fucking do the gins bro This is fucking. This has got to be trapped somewhere, bro. Like, there's no fucking way. It's Shaq. There's no way Shaq doesn't have a trap on it. Yep. Damn. I thought there was a pallet right there. There was no pallet right there. Yeah, the whole dude. Oh my god, everybody's here. You know what? Go away. I got a med kit. You know what? If you won't touch me, that's fine. Bro, look, there's this, there's this everybody just running around. Get on a generator. You know what? If you can't find a generator, it's fine, because I can't I can't find one either. Brother, I just got unhunt. Go for these guys. Go for these guys. They're right there. Bro, see? The grass hides it, brother. I cannot see it. I feel like they purposely increased the height of the grass just to buff Trapper. Dude, you can't see the trap. You just can't see it. W medkit, by the way. Well, we just have one generator left. I don't want this medkit anymore. Oh, Ace is on the last. There he, there he goes. There he goes. There's, oh, there's two right here. There's one right there. I can actually get this. I do feel like there's a little bit of unbalance on both sides, a little bit here and there. Oh. 
I don't know, dude. I'm just kind of spitballing my ideas as they pop up in my head. What? You know what? I'm. I mean, I saw that. I mean, I saw that trap. I mean, like, what the fuck? <laughs> 